WHO to say aspartame sweetener a possible carcinogen. Ukraine could receive first F-16 jets in two months with pilots ready. Apple becomes the world's first $3 trillion company. Macron scraps German trip as France braces for more violence. Thousands of port workers in Canada's British Columbia go on strike. World's most expensive cow breaks own record for astronomical price. World's oldest national newspaper prints final edition after 320 years. Taylor Swift is making more than $13 million a night on her tour. Hello, I'm Johnny. Thank you for joining us on Funding News. It's Monday, July 3rd, and here are your top stories. According to two sources familiar with the issue, one of the world's most common artificial sweeteners is set to be declared a possible carcinogen next month by a leading global health body. The sources told Reuters, aspartame, used in products from Coca-Cola diet sodas to Mars Extra chewing gum, and some Snapple drinks will be listed in July as possibly carcinogenic to humans for the first time by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, the WHO's cancer research arm. Reuters said the IARC ruling, finalized earlier this month after a meeting of the group's external experts, is intended to assess whether something is a potential hazard or not, based on all the published evidence. Aspartame has been extensively studied for years. Last year, an observational study in France showed that people who consumed larger amounts of artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, had a slightly higher cancer risk. However, the study could not prove that aspartame caused the increased cancer risk. The media reported that U.S.-made jets are not expected in Ukraine until the middle of next year at the earliest. However, presidential adviser Mikhailo Podoyek said that Kyiv is speeding up preparations to take its first delivery of F-16s in a couple of months. As to confirm the validity of his statement, Podoyek said it's just a question of logistics. Denmark, the Netherlands and Belgium have given strong signals that they will be willing to provide the jets. Speaking from the presidential office in Kyiv, Mikhailo Podoliak said Ukraine was speeding up the process to implement the crucial logistics necessary to allow F-16s to join the nation's fight to expel Russia from all its territory. While he would not comment on which countries these jets would come from, military sources suggested that some of Denmark's 30 F-16s could be among the first to be sent to Ukraine as it ramps up its counteroffensive following an aborted coup in Russia last weekend. Apple has become the world's first company to be valued at more than $3 trillion as U.S. stock markets closed last Friday, making it the world's most valuable business. Last Friday, Apple's shares closed at $193.97, up 2.3% on the day, which made the company reach a value of $3.05 trillion. The technology firm first reached a $1 trillion benchmark in 2018, 42 years after its founding. It reached $2 trillion in 2020. And now, investors' appetite for profits has been whetted by the prospect of Apple starting to sell more of its products in India. Apple opened its first store in Mumbai in April and is in the throes of moving some of its manufacturing production into India in a bid to reduce its reliance on China for making iPhones and other products. The iPhone currently accounts for around half of Apple's annual sales and it has sold more than $2 billion since the first device was launched in 2007. Apple said its mixed-reality headset, the Apple Vision Pro, is a revolutionary product, with the potential to change how users interact with technology, each other and the world. French President Emmanuel Macron postponed a long-planned state visit to Germany as France braces for a potential fifth night of riots and looting triggered by the police killing of a teenager. Last Friday, he left the summit of European Union leaders early to return home, only to face another night of violence that led to more than 1,300 arrests. Agents France Press reported a private funeral was held last Saturday at a mosque in a suburb near Paris for the 17-year-old boy of North of African descent. The French Interior Ministry will send police reinforcements to Lyon and Marseille after confrontations Friday night between police and mostly young people resulted in ransacked shops and damaged buildings despite the deployment of 45,000 officers across the nation. 
more than 2,500 counts of arson were recorded, which damaged hundreds of buildings. French finance minister Bruno Le Maire said last Saturday that 10 shopping malls, more than 200 supermarkets, 250 tobacco shops and 250 bank outlets were attacked or looted. Several thousand unionized port workers in Canada's western province of British Columbia went on strike after failing to reach a deal to renew an industry-wide contract that expired in March. The International Longshore and Warehouse Union Canada said it would issue a statement once there is a resolution to the dispute over the collective bargaining agreement, which covers about 7,500 employees at 30 terminals in the province. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business, CFIB, said in a statement the walkout could have serious consequences for Canada's economy and small businesses. Last Wednesday, the Longshore Workers Union said it had issued a 72-hour strike notice. The British Columbia Maritime Employers Association, BCMEA, said it and the International Longshore and Warehouse Union Canada had met last Thursday and Friday in talks supported by the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service. One-third of the ownership of a huge white cow, a four-and-a-half-year-old nail lore breed named Biatina 19 FIV Mara Imovias was sold for 6.99 million reals, the equivalent of $1.44 million, at an auction held in Arandu, Brazil, making it the most expensive cow in the world. The cow was sold by Agropecuria Casabranca to Nello HRO for this record-breaking price placing its total value at a staggering $4.3 million. Half of the ownership of the same cow had already been sold in 2022 for around $800,000. According to Oklahoma State University, Nalore cows are a breed characterized by their bright white fur, with a distinct bulbous hump above their shoulders. They have naturally high resistance to hotter temperatures, which comes from their loose, dangly skin and possession of sweat glands twice as large and 30% more numerous than those of many European breeds. This breed originates from India and is named after the Indian district of Nellar in Andhra Pradesh state. The world's oldest national newspaper has printed its last daily edition almost 320 years after it began. Winner the Tung, a Vienna-based daily newspaper, will no longer print daily editions after a recent law change meant it had ceased to be profitable as a print product. The law, which was passed in April by Austria's coalition government, ended a legal requirement for companies to pay to publish public announcements in the print edition of the newspaper, terminating Wiener Zeton's role as an official gazette. According to Der Spiegel, this change resulted in an estimated 18 million euros loss of income for the publisher and has forced the paper to cut 63 jobs, including reducing its editorial staff from 55 to 20. It will continue to publish online and is hoping to distribute a monthly print edition, although that plan is reportedly still in development. The newspaper, which is owned by the Austrian government but is editorially independent, began publishing in August 1703 and has seen 12 presidents, 10 kaisers, and two republics. Bloomberg reported that Taylor Swift is bringing in ticket sales of more than $13 million a night on the road, putting her on the trajectory to deliver the highest grossing tour in music history. According to Polestar, an industry publication, through 22 dates, the tour has grossed $300 million, and Swift is on pace to gross more than $1 billion, a threshold no artist has ever hit. She was scheduled to perform more than 50 dates in the States in all and then go abroad. Polestar estimates Eras could top $1.3 billion. Hello. Bloomberg said Swift is also setting a high watermark for prices in a year marked by concert inflation. The average ticket to a Swift show costs $254. Seven of the 25 best-selling acts of the first half of the year on Polestar are also charging more than $200 a night. The list includes Bruce Springsteen, at $224, 
Fish at $206, and George Strait at $282. While the cost of seeing Taylor Swift has increased by $134, the media added, that hasn't stopped more than 1.1 million people from buying tickets. Now let's delve into the news of Asper Tim Sweetner, a possible carcinogen. Number 1. Carcinogen The use of asbestos in building materials has been linked to an increased risk of lung cancer, as it is a known carcinogen. Number 2. Hazard Growing levels of pollution represent a serious health hazard to the local population. Number 3. Extensively all these issues have been extensively researched in recent years. And that's all for today's Funding News. Be sure to tune in to Funding News from Monday to Friday and click the link below to join Funday for free. I'm Johnny Wu, your host. I'll see you next time.